people come back hard into January and they're losing like six, seven, eight pounds in a week the second they go back on plan. And I didn't. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Lauren. I'm on a journey to lose 150 pounds. So far, I've lost over 55 pounds on the WW Blue Plan. And today is my weekly weigh-in. And I'll share more in a bit, but I definitely need a pick-me-up and some energy this afternoon. It's like after two o'clock and I just finally decided to take a shower, throw on some comfy clothes, and actually get out of my robe in bed for the day. It's been a rough one, but let's have some lunch first. So to make these TikTok tortilla wrap hacks, you're going to go ahead and start with a tortilla of your choice. I'm using the Olay Extreme Carb Counter Wraps. They come in at only one point on the WW Blue Plan. You cut from the center of the wrap out to the edge without cutting all the way through so it's not going to be cut in half just like a slice into it and then you're going to fill each of the four sections of your tortilla with whatever ingredients you want so today i'm using sliced chicken breast reduced fat swiss cheese baby spinach and red onion and a bit of light mayo and then i'm going to actually spray it with some avocado oil as well as drizzle on a bit of red wine vinegar salt and pepper this makes such a yummy wrap, especially when you heat it up. I'm gonna go ahead and do the fold on this, which is what makes it really special and the hack. So you fold it all up so the ingredients are like in layers, almost like a lasagna. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I added a bit of spray to each of my side of the avocado oil to help it toast. Popping it in the air fryer for just a few minutes until it gets like warm and gooey. Oh my goodness, guys. I had this with a side of poppables, chips by Lay's for lunch. And this was so delicious. The whole wrap came in at five points on the blue plan and the poppable chips, I had 15 of them for three points. So an eight point lunch, super yummy, satisfied my want for a yummy sandwich and chips today. And that's what I had. Well, at least I got an on point lunch in today. I'm telling you guys, it has been a rough week. And I don't really know why. I came into the new year of 2021 with like, so much energy and positivity and like we're getting started. It's 2021. We're going to accomplish all of our goals this year and just make so much progress on our weight loss journey. And I haven't been doing bad necessarily. I've been tracking my points. There have been a few days this week. I did not get my blue dot in the app. Um, I would always start out strong tracking every morning and then by like evening, nighttime for dinner, I would just stop tracking and a lot of times like I was mentally keeping track of what I did but the problem with that is sometimes you don't realize like points or you forget about things and I think then you end up out of points for the day so I haven't been super great on tracking I guess I have been getting my water in we talked about January kind of being my month theme for this month was hydrate and just to start drinking more water again because I really got out of the habit in December. Um, I typically drink water. I don't, I don't have it up here with me. I should have it everywhere with me so I keep drinking it, but I'm up in the bedroom right now. Sorry if you hear tiny voices. They're coming. That's the window to our backyard outside and Lila's outside playing with Josh. They're being super adorable. Um, but anyway, I want to be using my Tervis cups or any of like my tumbler cups. They come in a size 32 ounces. So my goal is to get at least three of those in a day, which would be 96 ounces of water. A full gallon is 120 ounces. So I just wanted to get comfortable building my way up to that before then trying to do like a full week of drinking a gallon of water a week challenge, maybe later this month. This is my first week fully back on plan. I had a lose month in December and I lost five pounds over the holidays. I know that I really lost weight at the beginning of the month and then kind of hiatus or maybe I went up and then back down a little bit the next week to stay the same. So I still wasn't tracking my points well those couple weeks of the holidays. So overall for the month I had a loss, week to week it kind of went up and down and varied. So getting back on plan this week, I felt hungry all the time. I seriously felt so hungry and 
when I'm off plan, I don't feel hungry. I have really bad eating habits I slip back into right now still when I'm not on plan. And it's not bad eating habits where I'm like binging or having really bad food for me or anything. I'm someone who typically just doesn't eat throughout the day and then eats all of my calories for the day at the end of the day. And so it totally throws my metabolism out of whack. When I go back on plan and I start spreading those points out across the day between an actual breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack in between, my metabolism rubs up. I start to get hungry all the time by only having restarted that for a few days, which is great. That's exactly what we want our bodies to do when we're trying to lose weight. But it's it was hard to battle the hunger. I was eating all 41 out of 41 of my points a day. I know I definitely ate some, but not all of my weeklies this week, but I still felt hungry. So it was kind of like a weird headspace all week. I felt like I was constantly worrying about getting water in and I was always hungry and trying not to go over my points. And I've just been tired. I sometimes slip back and forth into like little bouts of, I don't know if I'd call it insomnia, like it's not something I've been diagnosed with, but I end up with having trouble sleeping. And it's happened on and off in waves over the last two years. I notice it particularly happen when I'm not getting enough movement and exercise in. It's like my body doesn't want to rest in the middle of the night because it hasn't been active enough during the day. So even when I go to bed at like 10, 1030 normally at night, I will wake up by one or two o'clock in the morning and be wide awake in bed until 6 a.m. and then fall back asleep for an hour finally until my daughter wakes up at seven or 730. So, that's why I look like this today. I did manage to get up, get a shower in this morning to help wake myself up, but I was awake last night from 1.30 in the morning until six, and then I woke up with my husband and daughter around 7.30. So I got about net four hours of sleep last night, but split into like two two-hour naps basically. And this is the third time this week that I've had a sleeping pattern like that. And I have no one to blame but myself because even though I showed in that video all of the new at-home gym equipment I got, it's all still sitting in a pile in my room. I haven't used it, not once, not any of it. And I'm disappointed in myself and I feel disappointed sharing with all of you who I'm trying to encourage to get up and get moving. Um, as accountability to help you and for myself. I mean, obviously, you know, we have good weeks and we have bad weeks. We have weeks where we do great and accomplish all of our goals. And we have weeks where we struggle to maintain and survive. So the sleep really screwed me up this week. I just, I felt so tired and drained all the time. Like I never felt like I was thriving for the day. And that made getting up and putting the energy into working out when Lila would nap really hard. And we also had many days this week where Lila refused to take a nap. She's almost three guys and it's a total toss up day to day how it's gonna go, if she's gonna nap or not. I'm sorry, I feel like I've done a lot of complaining in this video. I don't mean to complain. I'm just kind of talking about how the week went. It wasn't super great, but we all have bad weeks. The important thing is that we pick ourselves back up, we continue on, we weigh in and check in where our progress is and make changes for next week. So speaking of that, you've, you've seen how my week has gone. I've done pretty good with eating, but I always feel like when I don't get enough rest and water in throughout the week, which is what I was mainly struggling with this last week and not getting a ton of exercise in. I mean, I did go walking a couple times this week. I went with Lila, took her on walks, and um, we played outside, but it rained really bad a few days this week, so we couldn't go outside those days. Um, and I was, I was tired and lazy, and I didn't use my new weights or do any sort of yoga videos on YouTube like I tried to do. So, failed on that part, but we'll see how it goes. So, without further ado, here's my weigh-in from this morning. Last week at the beginning of 2021, I did my three month weigh in update and I weighed in at 309.2 pounds. So I was just over 55 pounds down from my highest weight. Today, I weighed in at 
0.4 pounds. So I was just shy of having lost a full pound this week. It's still a loss. I'm still happy with that. I'm glad it wasn't a gain. I wish I could be happier, but I feel like I feel like I'm at the point in my weight loss journey where I should be able to be working out, drinking water, staying in my points. I've been on and off Weight Watchers for like 16 months. I know the drill, I know the plan, and when I stick to the plan, it works. So I just need to really get up and get the get up and go in me and do it. No more excuses, I just gotta do it. I gotta power through. I hope I can get my sleep pattern reset for this week and we do better next week. But one thing I'm doing to try and help track all of this. So I actually, I think I shared this on my Instagram um, at the very beginning of the year. I found this. It's so cute. I found this at five below when I got all my unused gym equipment, but I found this at five below. It is a dry erase calendar, but how I'm going to use it. So I have January and the year and I up here have written hydrate because that is my focus of the month. And again, I'll have a different focus for every month for the year, which I've already planned out. So if you guys wanna follow along, keep checking back for my monthly updates. I'm gonna be sharing them then with like a plan for how to execute your monthly goal word. Um, so, and then what I've done is any day I did not work out, I'm putting an X in the bottom right corner. And then in the upper left corner, I'm putting dots for how many um, tumblers I was able to drink of water. So my goal is to get two to three. I did pretty good on that. I'm really trying to get to three a day, which would be 96 ounces of water. So if you guys take a look at this week, here we go. That is how it tracked for this week. Um, I did get a walk in on Tuesday this past week. And today I'm going to be doing weights. I'm opening that stuff. I will share it on Instagram to keep myself accountable, <laughs> but I'm going to get my weights going, do a YouTube workout. I found a few that I like. I will, once I try them out and see how I like them, I'm going to pick a few and I'm going to do a video later this month or maybe for February. Um, just listing out the workout videos that I've been using that I've been liking workouts that are great for beginners or with light weights or yoga, that kind of stuff. So I'll be sharing. Don't worry. Keep your notification bell on so you can see all the videos as they come out. Um, but I'm going to do some weights in yoga today. I think just getting more movement in, maybe that'll help reset me for tonight. <laughs> Guys, pray for sleep. Pray I can go to bed and sleep through the night tonight because she's dragging. I know, I don't have any makeup on today. It just couldn't do it. Anyway, that's my weigh in for today. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you are enjoying seeing my weight loss content and so YouTube can share it with others. Until next time, bye. bye.